Let's talk about our free time. Do you have enough free time or not? Probably you'll say, no, I don't have free time or I have a little free time. And uh, as for me, I often hear these answers. But I believe that uh, we have another kind of problem, that we can't manage our time effectively. You know, when uh, I was learning English very intensively, I also had very little free time or I didn't have free time at all, but uh, I managed to learn English and uh, I managed to reach the highest level in English. So when people say that uh, they don't have free time, maybe it's often an excuse. Yeah, just they don't want it. Because uh, I feel that if you really want something, if you really want to achieve an aim, and when you have a big aim or a big dream, so you can move the mountains to achieve it. Yeah, and the first thing that you need to have is motivation. If you don't have motivation, it's very difficult to continue. It's almost impossible to do it. Yeah, it's the first thing. And the second thing is that you need to have uh, certain aims, not just maybe I want to know English or I want to have a good uh, level in English. Uh, I think not. I think that uh, your aims uh, to be more specific. It means that, uh, for example, I want to have a strong intermediate English level in the beginning or I want to have uh, an upper intermediate level by next year. And when you have more specific aims, you can work out, uh, you know, a good strategy, how you can achieve uh, these aims and how you can turn everything into reality. So really, our dreams uh, come true, but maybe just, uh, you know, uh, less than uh, 20% or 10% and I wish that all your best dreams always came true but it's difficult to do it it's almost impossible so we need to have a plan and uh, really you need to have more motivation and what's your motivation for learning English why do you learn English so, what's your motivation for doing this or that thing? And what's your motivation, you know, for maybe reading? Really, do you read or not? And uh, I know that um, it's uh, a very typical feature, uh, mostly, you know, for young generations that uh, they tend to read uh, so little and it's a very disappointing fact. But, uh, in fact, uh, books uh, can uh, provide us with uh, real knowledge, yeah, which uh, can't be compared to what we read in you know, articles or somewhere online, where the articles are very short uh, and uh, the material is often incomprehensible. Right. So, the thing is that uh, you need to manage your time better. And what hobbies do you have? So, it's the second uh, question. So, what hobbies do you have? What do you like doing in your free time? If you uh, find time for it, if you manage to find time for it. Uh, you know that uh, English is one thing, but English isn't uh, everything. We perfectly understand this uh, very simple truth. Yeah? So, are you good at sport or not? Do you like... Uh, playing maybe tennis, uh, volleyball, or football, really, what do you like doing in your free time? Well, apart from learning foreign languages, and uh, I want to say foreign languages, not just one language, uh, English uh, language, uh, because uh, actually when you um, understand how to learn foreign languages or how to learn foreign language, English in particular, uh, you can continue and you can start uh, learning so the second one, the third one, so it will be easier and easier for you. So, you know, it's also uh, some kind of uh, a very good hobby. 
when you continue and uh, learn these uh, foreign uh, languages but it isn't everything as for me I also like reading really as far as I'm concerned I'm particularly keen on reading and uh, I can spend hours on it so there are different kinds of uh, books and uh, you know uh, they say that books are our friends and uh, I have uh, so this kind of question for you. Do you agree that uh, it's uh, always the case? I mean that books are always our friends? I think that uh, books uh, can have uh, a positive effect uh, on uh, us uh, as well as uh, the negative one. So good books uh, can bring us uh, lots of positive things, uh, so happiness, uh, you know, very smart ideas and uh, bad books uh, can influence us very badly and so they can have a devastating effect on our life. And uh, you know that uh, uh, some people say that, uh, yeah, there is uh, this kind of truth. Tell me what books you read in your free time and uh, I'll tell you what kind of person you are. And actually, this thing is similar to another one. So tell me so what friends you have and I'll tell you uh, who you are, uh, you see. And um, we understand that uh, if we spend time on reading, so it shouldn't be just uh, an ordinary pastime. We should understand how it can help us in the future. So maybe it will help us uh, develop professionally or maybe it will help us develop spiritually uh, when we um, understand what we need to do, yeah, not uh, to make, uh, you know, so common mistakes, but mistakes uh, not in English, not in our studies, but in our life. Well, in addition to all this, uh, you see that we've managed uh, learning foreign languages, reading uh, books, uh, and uh, it doesn't matter what kind of books you read. So, you can read uh, books uh, in Russian or in English. So, if you master your language, you can read uh, in English more and more. And, you know, it's such a pleasant feeling when you read uh, in English uh, even simple books for beginners or for elementary students and you understand 90% and uh, while improving your level you can read much more and understand much more you know this uh, food uh, is very good for thought and um, it doesn't matter so reading in English or in Russian or in any other foreign language okay so we've uh, mentioned these um, topics you see but uh, we shouldn't forget about, uh, you know, leading a very active uh, lifestyle, sport. It means that uh, we need to, to look, you know, after our health. It isn't in the last place too. And what do you do to be in a good shape? Do you practice sport? Do you play maybe football? Do you often walk in the park? Do you go swimming? So really, what uh, kind of hobbies do you have? And um, I can tell you something from my experience that uh, I used to have uh, so many interesting hobbies uh, when I had uh, more free time and uh, I used uh, to, you know, practice uh, boxing and other, you know, kinds of uh, sport. I used to go to the swimming pool you know, three times uh, a week uh, or every day. So it uh, happened uh, differently uh, from time to time. And uh, actually, it was wonderful. It was unforgettable. And these memories are still in my mind. But, uh, you know, life uh, was changing. And um, the fact is that uh, when we grow up, we have uh, less and less free time. And I remember the words, <laughs> the words yeah, of our English uh, uh, teacher uh, that, uh, okay, I think that uh, I'm not going to interpret them. 
I'll try to cite them. Okay, so she said the following, just it's, you know, to the best of my memory, as far as I remember. Learn English now, because when you grow up first, you won't have time for it, and second, it'll be really ridiculously expensive to do it. So it'll be very expensive to do it. And it, it's actually what we see in our modern world. So people grow up and uh, they start to realize, yeah, we finished uh, school, we graduated from university, but what did we get? In addition, just to these diplomas, what real knowledge did we get? And uh, it's a very sad, um, you know, thing, it's a very sad fact to realize that uh, actually we got very little, you know, real knowledge. And um, my idea is that uh, no matter where you study, no matter where you live, no matter what your income is or what your background is, you need to invest your time very wisely. Don't waste your time. Right, my friend. Because it's very easy to lose this treasure, this very precious uh, treasure, when you think that you have all your life uh, just, you know, uh, in front of you. But uh, time is, uh, you know, a very big uh, liar. Time is a very big thief. So, really, it's a liar uh, because uh, it lies, it often lies that, okay, you have so much time and it's a very big thief because you think that uh, you have so much free time, but in fact, so it uh, passes very quickly and uh, you need to be very wise and experienced to understand that you shouldn't spend it in vain and uh, you know when you study when you work no matter what you do think uh, about other things not just the duties which you have to fulfill at present but other things which you have apart from work and studies. Okay, let me clarify my point. I'll try to be more precise. Right. So, uh, you know, I graduated from an ordinary university and uh, I studied, uh, you know, at school and uh, it was um, an ordinary school, most an ordinary school. But uh, I realized one thing that uh, if I continue uh, doing everything like others, like other people were doing, yeah, at that time, so I had this idea in my mind, or let's maybe say it um, uh, at present, so the idea can be the following. So if I continue doing like others, if I continue doing like the crowd, my results will be um, very small and uh, if I have results I'll be lucky if uh, I have uh, good results I'll be even luckier uh, you see but the fact is the fact that if you want to achieve something in our life I mean great we need uh, to have uh, uh, much more uh, than just uh, this uh, background when we study or when we work we need to train a lot additionally and uh, we need to actually train our skills yeah because uh, other people have uh, the same education and if you want to be an expert in a certain area you need to develop these skills if you for instance uh, let's say decided uh, to become a programmer uh, you can uh, spend, uh, you know, some time additionally uh, to work on it. Okay, just try to be the best programmer in your area, in your field. If you decide to be a designer, try to be, you know, a real um, artist, uh, maybe the best artist uh, 
in this uh, 21st century or of all times. Okay, let's uh, try to do it. Maybe you won't uh, be it in reality, but your motivation will be strong enough to do it. And um, I started, uh, you know, actually, if I look at my way, I just started giving English uh, lessons and I wanted to actually give knowledge to other people and share my experience with them as well as getting money because uh, you know that uh, I also had to pay for uh, so many things and so I think that it's uh, quite understandable uh, but then I understood uh, that uh, I uh, you know I just uh, had this idea in my mind that uh, I can teach better and better I can teach uh, different uh, levels I can have uh, better and better results and I can be the best teacher in my English school I can be the best teacher maybe uh, in these two English uh, schools uh, or maybe in the city or yeah you know I have so many disadvantages uh, uh, you see I have so many weak points but I try to work on them and if you have uh, um, no, a good aim and if you have uh, a good plan okay you forget uh, about wasting time people waste time when they don't have a name in life and even if you have a good job even if you have everything and you uh, are still thinking about uh, maybe wasting time yeah there is one more thing yeah we are talking about this thing in the end but it doesn't mean that it's the least important thing in our life is the meaning of our existence really all the things which we do it's you know like a dream and uh, I'm very happy when uh, people try to focus um, not only on material things but on spiritual values too and the question is um, what's the meaning of our life you know that uh, when people do business they sell and buy they buy and sell so it's a constant process and they get uh, more money uh, so called uh, you know profit uh, or revenue and uh, our life is very similar uh, to business or to doing business so when we try to work on ourselves when we try to work on ourselves we try to find different ways of doing good things yeah to other people too yeah but it isn't enough because uh, you know some people can do good things they can help uh, maybe the elderly uh, you know the, the elderly people who are old uh, but uh, they are dirty inside the most important thing is to do do things it's uh, to the best of my knowledge the first thing is to do good things and uh, develop our uh, skills talents so we can uh, help uh, people you know by developing our talents uh, skills and uh, trying to apply them in our real life and the second thing is you know this constant work on ourselves because uh, if uh, we remember uh, different people maybe who gave uh, so much money to charity it doesn't mean that they are saints because uh, yeah it's uh, a very good idea that uh, they have a kind heart maybe they gave uh, let's say one million to charity but uh, our life isn't only or this one simple action when we uh, do only one good things it's wrong it's wrong we should uh, actually do another thing our life should be full of these good things not only maybe one big thing in our life but every day we need to look for different ways in our life 
every day, every hour, every minute, we need to constantly analyze what uh, good things we can do, so how we can improve ourselves, so what we are doing rightly and what we are doing wrongly. And when we have this constant battle inside us, you know, apart from developing our talents, it's good. And we'll never, we'll never uh, have, uh, I mean, this idea of uh, wasting uh, time. And really, my friends, you have to uh, confess that our time is very uh, short. Yeah, and uh, we can't... Uh, leave all these things which we have I mean that you can have material you know aims only material aims to buy you know maybe a house then a bigger house then a much bigger house then a more spacious house then you will decide to buy an island maybe two islands then a castle and so on you know this is a very long way and uh, this is our nature that uh, the more we have, uh, uh, the more we want to have. And this uh, process can become very unstoppable, can become unstoppable and uncontrollable very easily. I think it's uh, the wrong way. And the right way is when we want to actually um, understand uh, the mission, our mission in uh, this life and uh, actually the meaning, the very meaning of our existence and when we want to work on ourselves and uh, uh, develop our good uh, traits of uh, character as well as getting rid of, you know, bad uh, traits of uh, character. No problem. So if a person is uh, greedy and he feels uh, uh, that uh, he is uh, greedy, okay, no problem. I think that uh, he needs to open uh, his uh, or she needs to open her eyes and uh, do the opposite thing. So uh, there is uh, another uh, virtue, so-called mercy, when we help other people and so on. So you see, my friend, um, that our life uh, seems uh, so trivial, so banal, you know, so simple and maybe meaningless, but I totally disagree with all these uh, people who are very naive and they think that our life is meaningless. It's meaningful. So, everything, I mean, uh, uh, what happens in our life has a very deep meaning. And uh, as one very wise person said, okay, this is our life, but uh, we only learn to live here in this world yeah, because we need to prepare ourselves. I mean, not our material body, uh, but our uh, souls for a better life because uh, our souls uh, never die. So what we get here, I mean, not material things, but uh, good things or bad things. Uh, so these things uh, we'll have, we'll have these things. My friends, so really, um, maybe uh, we need to think differently when we think about our hobbies uh, and uh, about uh, wasting our time. So, uh, well, I also... Uh, you know, used to think uh, so, but then I changed my point of view. And I understand that uh, I need to try to use the amount of time left for me, actually, in um, the most uh, effective way. The most effective way, and uh, I hope uh, it is so, and uh, it'll be so. My friends, thank you very much. Uh, you know, uh, you feel that uh, maybe you are tight uh, a bit, uh, but uh, we often hear different slogans that uh, our life is for pleasure. So I don't think so. Our life is for pleasure, but not for these uh, 
uh, trivial uh, pleasure which has uh, nothing inside and which is uh, emptiness uh, for wise uh, people. My friends, thank you very much and uh, when you uh, think uh, about your hobbies, uh, you know, I think that uh, you perfectly understand that we need to spend our time wisely, so we need uh, to uh, spend it as it's already been said on developing our talents, so we have some aims and we also need to, to work on ourselves uh, spiritually because we want to be uh, better people and it's real. Because uh, saints were also people like us and uh, I remember one episode from my childhood. I asked, uh, you know, one person, uh, who are saints? Who are saints? And uh, he answered, oh, saints. Uh, I mean, uh, they are very special people, but every person, everyone can be a saint if he or she really wants it, because this way is open for everyone. Uh, the only difference is that uh, this is a narrow way and uh, most uh, people prefer uh, pleasure, uh, relax and other things, but uh, if people uh, choose uh, a narrow way, uh, they continue and God helps these uh, people if uh, we, uh, you know, think about it uh, day and night, yeah, as uh, we read in the first psalm yeah, about a man uh, who thinks uh, about uh, it day and night. And uh, really, uh, these uh, people are on the right way. My friends, thank you very much. I want to be uh, sincere with you. Uh, and uh, I think that it's a good beginning of this uh, series. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.